As well, setting the spotlight on issues and politics in seven critical swing states ahead of the presidential election. That's the focus of a new political talk show called Battleground for Fox First Run. It's a 30-minute show set right to air here on Fox 5. We got the anchor, the political commentator, the nationally syndicated columnist, and now the host of Battleground, Essie Cup, live from our sister station in Philly. Nice to meet you, Essie. Nice to meet you, although I'm a little depressed to learn that Rhythm of the Night is 39 years old. Thanks, guys. I know. Well, Thanks. yeah, we mentioned that Born in the USA <laughs> is 40 years old earlier, so it's one of those oh days gosh, to I remind you how old you are. All right, Essie, yeah. let's talk about your show. How's it going to yeah. work? Yeah, I mean, this is unlike anything that we're used to seeing in election year. We are hyper-focused on the seven swing states that are going to decide this upcoming election. There are lots of national stories and lots of places to go for those big national stories. But if you want to know what voters on the ground in the states that matter are thinking and the issues that they're caring about, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be a one-stop shop for that both on the show and in our newsletter, at our website, battlegroundnews.com, and in our socials. You're going to use the resources of the local Fox stations in those seven states in yep. particular. Hey, look, we live in New York. We know that this is typically not a battleground state. It may get a little bit closer this year. But with the Electoral College, these seven states in particular, do you think this will ever, looking in your crystal ball, change where we will get a national election that matters anymore? Or will it always just be a couple of swing states that will swing it one way or the other? Well, it's probably always going to come down to a couple swing states, but those swing states shift. Remember, Florida used to be a swing state. Um, we're looking at Florida uh, this year. We're keeping an eye on Minnesota this year. The swing states can shift. And so, you know, you're, you're probably not ever going to decide an election in New York. Uh, but that doesn't mean that every vote isn't important. Uh, but these swing states this year, these seven swing states, are really where the action's going to be. And I'll remind you, I'm sure you guys remember back in 2020, I mean, Georgia came down to 11,000 votes. That is a really, really small amount. Mm. In 2016, Hillary Clinton, you know, kind of kicking herself for not going more to Michigan and Wisconsin. It really came down to a couple states. It's poised to do that again this year. So let me ask you, I was looking on your social media, and you were talking about Kamala Harris and how she might be kind of rolled out to those swing states. Do you think that she will have any sway? Yeah, Biden's got some deficiencies with some generally Democratic coalition voters, and I think the point is that Kamala Harris is going to try and help him shore up some of those coalition voters, bring them back home. Whether that will be successful, we'll, we'll see, but it, it seems like the Biden campaign knows um, they need some other surrogates out there, and she's probably going to be an effective one. You know, people have seen you on television for years, and it's usually with CNN behind you. you got Fox right behind you right now. How different is this, and why did you decide to come to Fox to do this project? Uh, well, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm still at CNN, and I'm still going to be doing my, my work there. I've been there 11 years, but, but this is a, a really unique opportunity to tell these local stories. Um, in these specific states. You know, I'm going to do what I do at, at CNN, but, but here at Battleground, this is a really different project. And I was just too um, excited about the prospect of covering an election in this unique way to pass this opportunity by. Um, I, I'm frankly surprised no one's done it yet. Um, it's just such a good idea. And I think we're going to tell some really important stories, um, literally from voters themselves. Well, we look forward to a June 10th right here on Fox 5, Mondays at 630. All the best to you. We'll be watching you. Thanks, guys.